So there are a whole bunch of um, videos out on YouTube where women are saying, oh, this is why men cheat. It's because of the women. Women are doing it all. We're, we're the reason that men cheat. And other videos that are like, oh, this is why your man treats you bad. Or, oh, it's not the guy's fault. It's most definitely the woman's fault. And you know, those videos are dangerous because it's like, it's not all women. And if we're going to bash men, it's also not all men. So it's like those videos can be quite problematic because you're just lumping everybody into one thing. It's like, uh-uh, you're not about to count me in that. But the interesting thing is when you make a positive video that kind of looks at both sides And that's what I try to do here on my channel. I look at both sides of the spectrum If a woman is wrong, I'll call the woman out. If a man is wrong, I'll call a man out, right? And that's what I've been doing with um, the Kevin Samuels interview the woman that he called Avid at best that interview And also kind of an interview that the roommates did with another woman who wanted a high-value man That's what I try to explain in these videos. Unfortunately <laughs> Unfortunately people either don't listen don't want to listen think they know where the conversation is going to think they know what is going to happen think they know what's going to be said because they have an assumption about they have an assumption about what a dark-skinned black woman is going to say about the topic meanwhile I work on basis of logic I work on basis of common sense which is long gone extinct almost but I possess it <laughs> And I work on what's fair and listening and listening closely and knowing that not everything that is said is necessarily to bash women and that there's some truth to certain things but you can't lump all women in a certain uh, basket you can't lump all men in a certain basket that is just not correct and not right but what I see is that when you're looking at both sides and and just kind of looking at both sides and just being fair you might be seen as biased or like a traitor to women and when you are on one side if I were to praise men into the heavens a lot of men would like what i have to say if i were to do that for women they would also like what i've got to say but i'm showing an even playground so most of these these videos it's like a lot of men going in on on what i have to say but i wonder if they watch the full video because i'm not here to bash men no if you're a guy and you have something sensible to say you'll get all the praise you know and at the end of the day i don't know why people get so so hurt and so feel so attacked because if you don't fall under the category of men that i'm talking about why are you mad <laughs> that's what i want to know a lot of these men that are talking about women that are this and that are that i'm like yeah okay whatever he wants to say that's his opinion I after all, it's women calling into these shows, so they're there to get the heat. I wouldn't call into this show because I already know about myself. And I'm not going to let somebody who doesn't know my life story to tell me about myself, right? But if you put yourself in that position, you know, you, you can expect to get the heat. The comments that I'm seeing, so loads of men were commenting on these videos. And I'm like, where are the women? Do you know that women don't like women? Most of the time, women are mostly jealous of each other. So they don't really watch what other women are doing very much. So if you go to a job and there are women, they, you see that they will be gossiping about other women. Mm -hmm. Instead of, I mean, accepting the woman who has come in or a woman, I mean, they will be gossiping about the woman. Some will like her, some will not like her. They'll be talking about their hair, their shoes, their their dress that they wore and how they didn't like it and all those they do that and how well. they were dressed like over the top over and the how top, why is her hair yeah. like that but normally if you you are in, in a group of men they don't do that they, they don't, don't really, really care don't do they're looking they at care. how how well you can do the job yeah they don't care you know but women are not like that you see very few women who really adore another woman Mm. Yeah, it's, it's very hard. I don't and know that why. is why these female channels, these female positivity channels, these female upgrade yourself channels, these female go for high value men channels are not doing as good as they should. They are not having the subscribers that they should compared to these men who are just kind of bashing women and telling women that basically they need to get their whole act together. Mm. First of all, you're fat. Mm. You know, this this fat thing, eh? it can take somebody five years to get to a normal, normal what we size. deem as a normal, mm -hmm. healthy size. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and you don't know how the person go fat. Sometimes they have emo emotional problems. Mm -hmm. They are emotional eaters. They eat when they are emotional. So then it's yeah. not only it, it's a not gym all, thing. It's not only a gym There thing. are so many people yeah. who go to the gym. Mad crazy. They can lift more weights than I can and everything. Mm. But they are huge mm. because they're eating. And when you see them eat their three day meals a day, you don't see it. It's the in-between snacks. Mm. It's the on the way to the gym chocolate bar. Finish with the gym crisps. Like it's the, it's the, you know, there's this show in the UK called Secret Eaters. These people are out here eating everything. Mm -hmm. 
they are eating everything but it's secret so they follow them for a whole week or so and they see what they eat and they put it all together whole bunch of wasted food but yeah they're, they're piling it on in in a huge tube like the science tube but bigger like a life size and they're putting it all in there look this is what you have for breakfast but then you have a little snack on your way to this and then you have a little snack it's like oh my gosh this is what i eat in a day that is crazy mm -hmm. so a lot of people these people need psychiatrists can they pay for it do no. they have the financial ability to pay for it no they don't but anyway if we're talking about these high value men that people keep wanting you know and they say that the high value men don't care if the woman has a lot of money so you could get somebody who doesn't have a lot of money has a normal stable job but not a lot of money isn't rich mm -hmm. isn't what you'd call high value but isn't high high value in other areas in character in mm -hmm. whatever whatever and they want to get with a high value guy because they're tired of dealing with broke dudes and <laughs> low value guys as some would call them dusties as others would call them and yeah they want the best for themselves so yeah they want high value men and but they they are fat they are overweight but they're dealing with emotional issues but the money they're making i mean it's a stable job and all but it's not going to be enough money to pay for a whole psychiatrist or yeah or psychologist or a therapist or whatever it's not going to be enough money for that so how do you tackle that and these are some of the things that yeah this is where it becomes interesting because it's not it's not always just as easy and as clear cut as that right you don't want another woman to be okay or whatever and that's why like that. and two they don't think a woman can tell them what they can look for in a man mm -hmm. they think it's a man that's supposed to tell them but the, the fact of the matter is the woman has been through what you're going through mm -hmm. they've been in the dating scene they've seen what works what doesn't work they've seen what the guys like what they don't like you know and these these female positivity channels do actually stress the fact that yo get your health right they really promote that some of them even show you their workout journey and stuff like that right or their skin loss uh, journey so they're helping you level up but yeah, there's just something very strange about women in general in the work field. But I'm also noticing that same work environment tension that can sometimes be around in the YouTube spaces as well. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, okay, we're outraged that Kevin Samuel said all this to this woman. But there are actually channels where women are praised, where women are like, look, if you are quote unquote average, that doesn't mean you should just be single for life, right? Mm -hmm. But then again, that's not what he said. He said, pick somebody who's also average. But you know, there are people who with their whole average selves bag a high value dude. Mm -hmm. And how to do that? The strategies to live your best life, no matter how you are, is what some of these female positivity videos or whatever you, you call the, this sphere or this, this sector on YouTube. That's what they, they advocate for. That's what they try to teach women. But no, you deserve the best no matter what. But do lose weight, dress well, put on some perfume, you know, look the part as much as you can. Because because of all this average at best stuff, this is why people are running to cos uh, cosmetic surgery. Mm. And that like crazy. I just heard today about the pee challenge. I thought it had something to do with urination. No, the pee challenge is where <laughs> this rapper Lil Duval, this is a while back, but mm, I actually saw this video by Real Talk with Yanni. Love her channel, by the way. Go subscribe, links in the description. But she um, talked about this period challenge, and it was when, you know, when a woman that has a big bum is standing straight and the bomb is just out there like mm -hmm. the, the circle of a p mm -hmm. p and then people would write period behind it and you know that everybody says that like period 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 behind everything so it's like the woman would stand there and the, the bomb is shaped like with the legs it's shaped like a p so then they put period and people were just posting he, he was like if you don't if you're not shaped like this you can't say period so all the women were posting period 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 their bombs and then with period behind it so yeah these type of challenges like ooh, who has the bigger bomb what's the most outrageous bomb and comparing and looking do you are you eligible to say period or not according to this rapper or whatever i know it's just a challenge and again if you don't want to be part of this mess if you don't want to be part of the women that he's talking about you don't have to participate in this challenge everything is like do with it what you want kind of thing right but in any case a lot of people because of these average comments and all these weird challenges and then there was the kylie jenner challenge like yo blow up your lip like a blowfish or whatever you call those fish and see if you can look like kylie jenner stupid ridiculous like that woman has got a lot of work done by well anyway some people argue that 
allegedly the people weren't even professional professional plastic surgeons but that's besides the point they have enough money to where even if things go wrong they could fix it and all the pictures we see on social media you don't know if at the time of posting they're actually lying in a hospital bed somewhere recovering from some surgery or they're actually at home recovering from some surgery and having the best care and the best water and the best <laughs> I don't know humidified but yet a dehumidified room and the best care and the nurse that is living in the house because it's so big and you know all this stuff but your regular degulars schmegulars will go to turkey um whatever south korea all these places where they don't even speak the language amazing countries by the way love these countries but yeah they'll go to these places and those places actually do have a good reputation i must say that when it comes to cosmetic surgery and people go on cosmetic tourism and all this type of stuff but then you have places like a, a flat three apartment d complex in the hood where there's this guy with a syringe about to pump you up with god knows what and people go do that too because they are desperate to post on instagram that they have a period bomb that they have big old lips like Kylie Jenner I mean it, the, the, that they, they cannot no longer be called average because they've spent thousands and thousands of dollars that they do not have it's all credit by the way to look like something they are not that to me is sad that to me is sad so hmm, that's what I'm saying but a lot of women will be in these chats will be on these videos be like please help me you already know they're gonna tell you you're average you already know they're going to bash you and if you can't stand the heat stay out of the kitchen from now we've all learned that this is for instance if we take Kevin Samuels and there are so many more this is how the guy rolls. I mean, to me, it's it's crazy. It's actually crazy. It's crazy that women flock to that and then boo-hoo that <laughs> about the stuff that's being said. Whereas there's there's such a positive space out there for women. But women don't like women. I don't know. Bashing each other. Bashing each other. Because, you know, a lot of people are not able to take it. Let's be real. The keyboard warriors will also try and dish out a lot of stuff. But quite frankly, if your face was plastered on the interwebs and somebody was telling you about yourself, asking you what you've accomplished in your life and what's in your bank account, asking you if you have a big D. You got a big Huh? You have a big I mean, it's above average. No, no, no. I asked you if you had a big I just said it was above average. I don't know what that is, really. Uh, you know if you got a big D or not. Stop the bull. <laughs> Every dude know whether or not he got a big I know I got a big D. Don't know. I mean, you don't have a big. Right. That's the point. You don't have a big. You don't have a big wallet. You a big. You a fat dude. And you got a lot of nerve thinking you should get choosing sitting with five foot ten and three hundred pounds, making less than a thousand dollars a month at twenty years old. And women should approach you. What they get? They don't even get a big dick. And all that. The rest of the nonsense that I've been seeing. <laughs> <laughs> so hilarious honestly it's hilarious to me it really is because y'all ask for this it makes for great entertainment y'all ask for this and if it's a positive channel you guys will just stay away make sure that their subscriber account stays lower than low and go run to these guys that you know are harsh so hmm, well you did what it is it's two things the harshness could be toned down but also if you know the person is harsh why are you going over there it's like going to gordon ramsay's hell's kitchen and expecting him to be friendly and and cuddle you and and just be over over the top with the compliments we already know gordon ramsay you don't play that if your food is trash he'll spit it right out on the floor there which i always wonder who the heck cleans that stuff up he'll just spit it and tell you you're an idiot sandwich on top and you'll take it why because you knew what you were getting yourself into in it i knew i could go on and on talking about this it's ridiculous <laughs> 2021 everybody be positive Talk to camera each other, stop bashing each other. Yeah, well, yeah. Let's have a nice 2021 because 2020 has been hell. Well, us. well, we really had a tough year, everybody, and it's not like we can say, oh, look at those people over there. No, this was one of the things that's like everywhere. Even the world world wars were not everywhere. Some people were like, yo, wait, wait. Y'all can go ahead. We we don't we don't have a side. We we are not picking a side. We Switzerland up in this piece. But some people, you know, yeah, you, you must realize that this is a thing that's happening worldwide. We're all dealing with this crap. And so for people to add more crap on top of the crap is ridiculous. Even if we're talking about all these finding people to date and stuff like that, it's like, uh, yeah, you do know that we're in the midst of a panoramic, and it's even more difficult now to do all that stuff anyway. So to now 
diminish somebody's chances completely by being saying ah yes you're probably just you know it's all over for you nah it's not gonna work for you yeah if you're even gonna give a advice like that or be critical like that okay mr man what is the solution because nobody's coming with that it's all like yep your life is terrible just like those people who read cards or who read your palm oh dear well you might as well just go lie down now because it's all over for you your future looks terrible it's like how are you gonna let somebody looking through some glass ball looking at your hand the same hand you're looking at telling you this stuff that's what i feel like with some of these people on youtube and then people are on the other side like oh okay yeah I guess now nah, we need to bring more positivity into it just think about yourself uh, and I'm also speaking to the keyboard warriors who love to comment a whole bunch of stuff that's fine but think to yourself would you be able to take it if the roles were reversed because I know that I know that I know that a lot of people commenting are not high value nothings they are high value nothings if we're talking about money maybe they have great personalities hey maybe they're funny Ooh, maybe they're very kind maybe they're nice but the high value stuff that this guy is talking about, for instance, you ain't that. You are and not that. High value men, they will not come and comment those comments. No, I don't think they have time. They, they respect themselves. They respect themselves and they have too, too much. They're too busy managing their businesses. What? They don't have time to sit here and be a keyboard warrior. I, I need to see proof that these people typing, yeah, tell that average person. I, I, first of all, I need to see what they look like. I'm sorry. I need to see what they look like. Everybody hi in hiding must surely come to light. What do you look like? That's one. Two, what's in your bank account? You know? And that's what shows you that the internet is so fake. People have time to sit here and, and comment on people and, and say nasty, nasty, nasty things. And it's like, if the roles were reversed, would you be able to take it? At least Jessica, the people, the woman, y'all average at best, has six figures. Which is what a lot of these keyboard warriors have been wishing for for decades and they still don't have it so in the grand scheme of things yeah what does your life look like that's that's the main question whenever you're going to be mean to somebody or be like ha 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 you don't have this you don't have that okay what does your life look like though and you say i hate to say it like that because that sounds very harsh as well but it's the only way where we can think about what we say when we say it if you are going to degrade somebody what does your life look like and if your life is way better than that person okay what about eh, teaching people how to get to that level there is so much joy in teaching people the ropes of, of a craft or how you got to where you are because trust me there's enough space for everybody to be great in this world and that's what we don't want we don't want other people to be great that's why women on here hating other women female youtubers okay and stuff like that that's crazy that's why men on here don't like it when women say something about or other men say something about what men do that's not correct they don't want to hear it they don't want to hear it now all of a sudden it has to be positive towards y'all see how that goes i wish we'd just be reasonable i just i just wish we'd be reasonable that would use common sense and yeah that would be nice to each other we're dealing to it with enough nonsense we really are these wars and things i've been seeing going on on youtube last few weeks it's just been kind of sad sad and heartbreaking because we need to come together and have fun on the on the net yeah they're not bashing each other there's yeah. too much bashing going on in this world and mm -hmm. there's the climate is not good mm -mm. you know the sea levels are rising mm -hmm. islands are disappearing well and we sit here we just talk the rubbish. The time, rubbish just to bring people down do you know mm. how many people how about doing something positive in your life changing things you know how many how people have been somebody else yes you know how many people have been depressed this year how many people have committed s this year you know how many people have lost their lives this year due to gun violence due to coro due to depression due to so many things i don't think people really realize you are it. the lucky one here so you should love somebody else you know with ways not with anger and with all those silly comments you guys we cannot live life like it's 2019 now we really we actually need to make sure that we don't become extinct <laughs> as a human race that's the next problem we're gonna have because if you see how these numbers are climbing it is scary out here we better get life right we need to end this year on a positive note we need to begin the new year 
with a whole new outlook on life it's so weird what people are doing right now like you look back on life when you're way older and be like what the heck was i doing on the internet those days what the heck was i doing because now you have grandchildren and they're doing the same stuff and you're like that's disgusting just do things that you can look yourself in the face years from now and still be proud of what you did. Because all these comments we leave on videos, that's your legacy. It's a trail. Don't forget, you might be running for president one day and we will find these comments. <laughs> You might become CEO of a company and oh, we will find these comments. Somehow, we will find it and it never leaves the internet once it's on there. It never does. So be mindful of what you write. Be mindful of who you follow because if you follow somebody and they're not feeding you and it's leaving you dry, empty, depressed, down and low down to the ground and you're subscribed to that willingly, hey, that's on you. That is totally on you go through the people that you follow subscribe whatever and see if these people are really for you if not clear it all out and start afresh it's time to let some positivity into our lives for real for real god bless everybody yep and that's on period not the bomb kind but the punctuation kind <laughs> Uh, if you're not already part of this family, make sure you hit bump stop as well as subscribe button, comment because I really want to know anything. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start. Oh, what? Living it right. God bless. Mm -hmm.